This is a Lhasa Apso. Most people think it is a Shih Tzu, but it's a mistake. The Lhasa Apso dog is from Tibet. It served the monks and warned them of danger. It was the Lhasa Apso who was taken as the basis for breeding the Shih Tzu and Pekingese. Grooming Lhasa Apso is very similar to grooming Shih Tzu because they have almost the same coat. And today I will be doing a teddy bear haircut for this dog. This dog's haircut will suit him. I'm using volumizing shampoo for bathing Lhasa dog if I want to create a beautiful, voluminous haircut. And if I prepare Lhasa Apso for the dog show, I use shampoo and mask for long-haired breeds. Also, I never cut the coat of the show Lhasa Apso's body and head. I'm trimming the coat short on the pads of his paws. However, I'm not shaving inside. Keep in mind that the coat between the pads protects the dog's skin from injuries and cuts. Lhasa Apso are adorable and funny dogs. They are kind, smart, and brave. But remember, they are stubborn dogs. Lhasa Apso's coat is thicker than Shih Tzu's. And to make a teddy bear out of it, I'm using the Blade Andis Ultra Edge number three and three quarters. If you want to see the instruments and care products I've used for this grooming, click pause when you see a pop-up sign. Lhasa Apso has a charming face. As a rule, these dogs are more obedient during grooming than Shih Tzu. They are calmer about haircuts, bathing, and blow drying. Although there are exceptions who don't like grooming. You should also be aware that Lhasa Apso's coat requires very thorough daily brushing, which can be a challenge for the owner. However, the Lhasa Apso short haircut will make care easier. This guy is a very good obedient dog. I'm using thinning scissors on the body to make smooth transitions to smooth out any unevenness and create a plush coat. I'm cutting his paws with straight scissors, and then I'm using the chankers to finish a haircut of paws. This boy behaves well during a haircut. He knows he will be handsome. Lhasa Apso has a longer bridge of the nose than Shih Tzu. That's why it's easy for me to trim it. I'm cutting the coat only near the corners of his eyes. He trusts me, and I'm grateful to him for that. I'm doing Lhasa Apso's head haircut, round and short. First, I'm removing the volume with straight scissors and chankers. Then, I'm making a round head shape. He will be a cute teddy bear.
and hit the like button or leave a comment below. It will help my channel. This guy has changed from head to toe, and he's proud of his new haircut. And the most interesting is yet to come.